Hello there. Now, suppose you have a function, and all you know about it is that f of 0 equals 5. What can you tell me about that function? It's hard to say much about this. All we really can do is plot the point 0, 5. Now, suppose I tell you, in addition to knowing that f of 0 equals 5, 0 is less than or equal to f prime of x is less than or equal to 12 for all real x. What can you tell me now? Now we can say quite a bit more. This could be our function. Notice that our function is always increasing and except for the fact that I drew this myself and I'm not a perfect drawer, um, the function should be growing no faster than this growth rate and no slower than uh, zero. So it's always increasing and it looks good. Another, another example of what the function could look like is as follows. Here we see that the function goes through zero, five. It's always increasing or at least non-decreasing. And um, there we go. Now what could our function, this one, this one could not be an example of our function because look, here it's decreasing, decreasing, oops decreasing. Also, here it's growing, it's growing too fast. Let's see another example where the function's clearly growing much too fast. Here, the function's growing much too fast, much faster than our fastest growth rate. So this is also not a candidate for what the function looks like. Okay, so now specifically, what can you tell me about the value of f of 3? Here we have f of 3. What do we know about f of 3? Well, we know the function's it is non-decreasing on its entire domain and we know it starts off with f of 0 equals 5 so this is going to be less than or equal to 5 plus the maximum amount that the function could have grown after 5 and so that's 3 times 12 because this is the maximum growth rate this is how far we travel and this is the value on the other hand it's got to be greater than or equal to, well, if the function didn't grow at all, if we look here, it could have gone to 3 here, and it would have stayed at 5. So it's greater than or equal to 5. Now, specifically, what can you tell me about the value of f of negative 4? On the other hand, what if we start with f of negative 4? Well, this thing is going to be less than or equal to, um, it's going to be f of negative 4 is over here, so the most it could have grown, uh, mo the highest value you could have is 5. And how, how small could it be? Well, uh, f of negative 4 is down here someplace, so what we do is we're going to take um, 5, and we should do negative 4 times 12, plus 5. Negative 4 times 12 plus 5. This is what we know about f of negative 4. Alright, so in this video I hope we got some idea of what you can learn knowing very little about the function but knowing just a little bit about the derivative. Let's go to some math.